Oh, hi. Hello yourself. <laughs> we are in Midtown, Reno, Nevada, that is. And <laughs> we're here to show you guys some art in the area. Now this place is full of murals and sculptures and all of this kind of stuff. And um, we're here to, to show the world. Give a, give a little walking tour of it. Yeah, a walking <laughs> tour. Share it with you. <laughs> so, but we're gonna grab some coffee real quick at this place called Joe Stella's. <laughs> yep, right down here in Midtown. And so, uh, we are starting there, get ourselves some energy because I can't think already. Yeah, he can't think. Eh, that's always been a problem. For once. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not wordy for once. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, Joe Stella's, it's like one of our go-to spots and um, we're about to take you inside, okay? Morning. Good morning. Morning. Here it is. Those <laughs> fellas. Oops, I can't get the angle right. <laughs> yeah. right we'll get some we shots go. for you. Oh. But first. I'm Justin. And I'm Scott. And guess what? We live for love. I'm getting a chocolate macadamia nut iced coffee. And I ended up getting the Huckleberry Honey Latte. It says it right there. I'm okay. She has and nice handwriting, is not she? She knew it would be on video. Oh, yeah. She, she was, was like. Yeah. <laughs> um, Took them calligraphy courses. I love it. It's like this weird, like, berry. Oh, uh, it tastes like a dark chocolate raspberry something, but Huckleberry. Raspberry. And honey. And honey. <laughs> <laughs> what does your taste like? Uh, mine tastes a lot more like just the traditional coffee, which you know, hey, that works. Yeah. It's good. It's yeah. it's got it's Let a lot try. more a lot more subtle. Let me try it. Probably didn't mix it. Mmm. It's nutty. <laughs> That's that macadamia. Nut. It's huckleberry honey. Yeah, it's basically what it says. It's a little on the syrupy side, so if you're not into sweet sweet, that is sweet sweet. This yeah. is much less, much more subtle. Well, let's talk about this place because it is in the heart of Midtown, the area that we're going to show you today. So um, it's usually my go-to. I've edited videos here. Uh, people are super, super nice. Yeah, very chill, relaxed vibe, just a small coffee house among Dozens, it feels like in Midtown. Yeah, but this place coming. is this place is kind of cool and special. I like the I like this one a lot. Yeah, yeah. and of course we strategically sat right here. Art, Lake Tahoe. Yeah, it's local. Yeah, <laughs> it's local. It's art. It's all of it. Yeah. Well, let's take you out. Okay, let's walk these streets. Let's do it. All right, y'all, so we just got here to our first location. And uh, what is it called? 
Uh, the wild orchid. You wonder what that means or what that is? So it's a strip club? Yeah, I used to work there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. He was a bouncer. I know, right? No, I, <laughs> I bounced on something. The oh, pole! Oh. I'm just kidding. So this one's like kind of nuts and interesting. Oh, well, hello, both coffees. So, um, this one's kind of cool because to me it sort of symbolizes Midtown. We've got the grunge of a strip club with a beautiful mural in front of it, like a really well done detailed mural. So just to mention that it is pretty early. So right now Midtown is a ghost town. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you get that? That, that was cool. That was a great reference. Yeah. But, it's not even 8 a.m. yet. But, um... I don't know, around 11 a.m. it becomes Life Town. <laughs> Get it? Instead of Ghost Town. That was clever. <laughs> <laughs> so we're approaching Scott's favorite? First favorite. His first favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Tell him about this. So it is a fish. Yeah, it's a fish. That's, it's cool. Look at this fish. Awesome. Uh, I think what I really like about it is all the different patterns and like it's almost like a quilt thing going on. It's cool. Oh, that is a quilt. You're right. You didn't catch that first. No, no. I'm here to explain. I was looking at the bumblebee. He's more interested in the bumblebee. I hate that. And this is why this is his favorite. Because it's the bumblebee that I hate. It evokes passion, and that's what it does. Yes. But like, there's even a thread going over to the bumblebee that is apparently quilting it. Oh, wow. <laughs> See? Interpretations. <laughs> Good job, one love. All right, guys, we're here at my first favorite mural, and it's community inspired. Literally. The reason why it's my favorite is because it brings the community together and that's what we're trying to promote. We live in for love. And um, the community goes all out trying to inspire love. love. <laughs> but the funny thing is, is most of the time we're always saying community ventures or our adventures. This one actually has community ventures. Get it? Does it actually say community venture? <laughs> yes, it does. V-E-N-T-U. You can see me pointing at it. R-E-S, yes. There we go. But damn, did that need to be unpacked, huh? Yes. It's because there's so much texture and depth in this one. There's art. And also, community. <laughs> Hot mess. Midtown Adventures. Midtown. Midtown Adventures. <laughs>and then it moves towards, you know, the future. The future. How about you, Justin? What do you like about this? What I love about this is it starts from like the beginning of Reno and then all the way down the wall, it goes to the future. Um, and it's, a, it's an inspiring message to look to the future. My past job location. My future past. <laughs> My future past. It's a it's a paradox. <laughs>
We're going to sizzle for lunch. That's what that is. I don't like you. Dancers. Do that thing you do for so well for me, baby. What the fuck was that? Art. <laughs>